All right, so we're back and we're now going to start sort of like a hacker tutorial series. I'm just going to do a lot of the basics, nothing too advanced probably. But uh, right now this is pretty much the setup phase. And what we're doing in the setup phase is just getting the uh, basic lab set up and some of the basics out of the way so that we can simulate uh, internet network and all that. So. Um, a lot of this has been covered already, so I'm not going to cover it in depth. I'm just going to do skim more of the basics. Essentially, we're going to have it set up this way. Um, internet router. We're going to have uh, internet router, hacker router, external router. This is going to be hacking from an external source. At least we'll set it up that way at first. We can obviously throw like another server off the switch here and say it's in the same network and do any, uh, any hacking you want to do there. So right now, um, we set up EIGRP routing, which I don't know if I covered. In previous ones, I don't think I did. So, yeah, GRP routing is, I think, what a lot of uh, actual internet routers use. So, let's go ahead and let's look at our internet router right here. Essentially, and this is a config, I will try to remember to post a link to it. You'll just, if you want to use it in your actual one, you can import it and uh, save it as a startup config so that you don't have to type it all out yourself. We just set the host name, internet router. And then for internet interface, uh, FA00, don't even use, since we're using two serial interfaces. And let's turn that on. So serial 0001. Um, so interface zero zero, serial 00 was 70.54.10.2, etc. slash um, 30, uh, 30, yeah, um, 252. And zero zero 001. 7154 10.1 uh, pretty standard stuff um, then the routing we did router EIGRP1 and just one is just a, a group that you want all your routers to route in so they're going to be in group 1 and then you just say what networks do I have I have 7054 10.0 off here and I have 7154 10.0 oops 7154 that's over here and 70.54.10.0 is over here. And then 0.0.0-3. So it's kind of like the ACL denotation. So I think that was about it. All we had to do to get uh, EIGRP up and running. Um, nothing else on those routers. Let's move on to the external router. External router is sort of what we're saying is like the server, the uh, person that is being attacked. So cover the basics of that. Um, host name, external router, and um, IP DHCP, we're, we're doing a DHCP server on it. Pool business, I just called it business. And then the network is going to be 192.168.1.0 and the default router is 192.168.1.1. Um, nothing too spectacular there. FA00, obviously 192.168.1.1, this is slash 24. Um, you have to assign this, since we're going to do NAT, we have to do NATing on this so that, so that the server can, and we're doing static NATing so that the server can uh, uh, be reached by Backtrack 5, which is our VM, which we'll get to. Um, so that's the IP NAT inside, nothing else really special in there. Interface 00 is the outside interface, 7054.10.1 slash 32, or 30, I think I'm getting that wrong, I think. Um, IPNet outside, and that's pretty much it for those serial interfaces. And then router EIGRP1, same thing, just shows what networks I have attached to it. Um, 7054, uh oh, I made a mistake there. Okay, I made a mistake there. I think I don't need this. 70.54.1.0 is incorrect. Hmm. Well, I'll have to delete that out of the configuration. It should just be 70.54.10.0003. But, uh, and, uh, then this is our IPNAT. We're just doing IPNAT inside source, uh, static. It's TCP. And then 192.168.102 is the IP address of our server. And then 
port 80, and then that's the IP address of our external router interface, port 80, and then extendable. And that's pretty much all you need to get it to be accessible. All right, and then we're going to go to the hacker router next over on this side here. And for hacker router, we are going to just do the host name, etc., IP, DHCP pool, hacker, internal, the, the network default router, same thing. I was thinking about doing it 172, but I, I just did 192 to 168. Maybe you can change it if you want. Same thing, IPNet inside, IPNet outside. <coughs> This one's going to be a little bit different. Oh, see, there's router EI GRP1, same group. And this one has one network statement because that's how it's supposed to be. 71.54.10.0. 71.54.10.0. So, um, that's the way it's supposed to be. You shouldn't have that extra one in there, but um, IPNet inside source list one, access list one permit. That's um, pretty much this is just a, a PAT, um, port address translation, I believe or IPNet overload if you're doing Cisco, as it says there. So essentially I'm saying IPNet inside source list, that's the access list, um, that says what is allowed out, I believe. Um, so access one permit, 192.168.1.0 slash 24, or uh, I shouldn't say that, 000255. Um, interface, and we're saying what's the external interface, interface serial zero slash zero and then overload. And that's pretty much it for, and that allows your computer to get out and allows traffic that is initiated by your computer to come back into your computer. So that's pretty much that setup. Then um, for Backtrack 5, which is on this side over here, we have VirtualBox running. And you can see my previous tutorial on how to set up um, VirtualBox with GNS3. And uh, essentially, as you can see right now, we are able to pull up the web server um, and that's running on this here but first we'll go over backtrack 5 you can download the VM directly from I think backtrack.org or whatever you can search it it's very easy to find you can download it as a VM which I did um, or at least a hard disk and just import it into VirtualBox very simple very easy um, essentially you just boot backtrack and then you log in as root uh, the password is root backwards or tor um, or tour um, and then I usually do start X because it can be useful sometimes because I don't know all these applications that it has so it's easier to it has applications there we are that's what I'm looking for um, I don't know all these applications so it's easier to run them from the X server and not from the command line so um, and we'll be covering a lot of those in the future tutorials so essentially um, this is up and running and we are hitting the uh, web server on the Windows Server and we'll go ahead and cover that a quick second. Um, I don't use Windows Server too much but essentially we're going to set up a web server, very simple, um, start and then I usually go to administrative tools, there's probably tons of other ways to do it. Um, and then you can do, let me see where was that now. I get server configuration wizard or server manager. Maybe it was server manager. There we go. Roles. And then um, you can add roles. And that's where I added the IAS server role. And then your IAS server. I don't know much about it. I use Linux for my web server. Um, but I pretty much just installed it. And then it comes up if you go to HTTP localhost there it is boom um, that's the default page and then nothing else um, works this is not obviously connected to an actual internet I'm simulating the internet um, but the point is I can ping it and it's working um, and as you can see this is also um, getting a DHCP address from 192.168.1.1 so we're going to go back to the <coughs> excuse me back to backtrack and after you've done all the setup make sure that you can hit the web server which I obviously can and I can I was going to use links to get to it but I'm going to have to connect to the but <coughs> you can also telnet into it and boom it's connected 
If you have problems connecting, it could be a NAT problem. Make sure you can ping from this router, the hacker router, to the external router. That's always uh, that's always a good thing to test to make sure. Um, another thing, make sure that it has default gateway. Um, it should get it from the DHCP server, but uh, I had problems connecting to this at first, and I realized this the server 2008 had no default gateway because I'd forgot to set that command in the external router. Um, other than that, it should be pretty simple. Um, I'm using the router uh, 20. Let me see what am I using again. I'm using the 2961 model for the router, and um, just you need the three routers, throw some switches on, and the two virtual box machines. So that's pretty much it for the setup. Uh, it's fairly simple and straightforward. Just once you have that connectivity, we will be able to start doing some basic hacking.